What's going on guys, it's Kyle here and uh, I'm super excited today. I just wanna do a quick update on the 12 unit I'm purchasing. So I got some great news. So we're about two weeks away from closing and I got the appraisal back. Now, if you uh, don't remember, I'm paying $345,000 for this uh, property. Um, really quick, let me break down the math on that. What is that a unit? So uh, 345,000 divided by 12, that's about $28,750 a unit. The appraisal just came back for $465,000. That's incredible. So I have $120,000 of equity day one. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking I'm gonna try to do, and I'll let you know how this goes. So I'm gonna contact my bank and say, hey, look, I've got all this equity now in this property. Uh, do I really need to put 20% down? My bank requires me to put 20% down on my uh, on my properties. So, you know, all they care about is that they have 20% equity. So if I would, uh, you know, walk away from this property, I would default on the loan, they would take it back and they know they'd be okay. Well, shoot, if uh, I'm buying it for 345,000 and it's really worth 465,000, do they really need that 20% down? Now, uh, I'm gonna talk to them, I'll let you know how it goes, and uh, I have a feeling that if this bank won't, if the bank I'm working with won't, I can probably find a bank that will work with me, or at least reduce the amount of money that I need to bring to the closing table. Um, and I haven't really thought about what I would do yet with that money, but essentially, so, you know, right now, um, 20% of 345,000 is 69,000. I gotta double check my math here because, okay, so I think I figured I'm gonna need about 75,000 for closing costs. But anyways, 69,000 is the, is the amount I'll need for the down payment. Now, um, if I have $120,000 of equity, I'm gonna ask the bank to cover this cost for me. So that means I have zero money out of my own pocket. Uh, if I'm thinking correctly, this should work. Now, some banks are definitely gonna wanna know that you have skin in the game. Uh, obviously, if you put money into this property, you're gonna have a lot less uh, likely of a chance that you're gonna actually walk away from this property. So um, this bank, I'm relatively new to working with them, so we're gonna see what they say. I've got a couple other banks um, that I could do this with. However, I only have two weeks until closing, so I gotta figure this out really quick. So I just want to go over again the power of real estate and how buying a deal like this can just catapult you, uh, catapult your net worth, catapult your buying power. So even if they still require me to put 20% down, to put that $69,000 down, my net worth is still gonna go up by that amount of equity that I have in that property. So, you know, I am able to, um, you know, go find another property and leverage against that equity if I so choose. So, you know, that's, the, again, the power of real estate. It's more or less like you're creating value out of thin air just by finding a property that is undervalued. So that's why it's so important not to just go buy your market, uh, you know, something that's listed on the MLS that you're paying market price for. Go find something that is severely underpriced or that you know you can force appreciation into through doing something like renovations or rent increases or decreasing expenses or something like that. So I'll let you guys know how this turns out. Again, super excited. And if you're on the fence about getting into real estate, I would highly recommend you start now. Even if you don't have money, start marketing towards you know sellers. Uh, maybe they're not even for sale yet. Just start sending them letters to properties that you you know would love to own someday. Write them a letter that says, "Hey, I'd love to buy your property. You know, I'm new, getting into real estate. Maybe it's a small duplex or something. Tell them that you want to own or occupy it, live in one side and rent out the other. Whatever you have to do. But I hope you guys see through this, uh, how powerful it is. Again, even if the bank isn't financing this 120,000 for me, or, sorry, the 345,000 completely with no money out of pocket, it still is boosting my net worth. You know, overnight, out of thin air, that value is being created. So even though people might come back and say, well, you know, it's, it's equity, it's not realized until you sell, that's correct. However, it does increase your financial statement so that when you take it to banks, it looks better as well as I can leverage against that equity. Equity. So that 120,000 of equity, I can go buy another property and use that $120,000 of equity towards a down payment of another property. I've done it before it works. So get into real estate if you have any desire to, because it will change your life. So appreciate you guys watching the video. As always, smash the like button. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.